Hey, so um, today we're going to be learning exactly what the easiest method is to take out a creeper in Minecraft. And um, creepers are those very, very annoying creatures in this game that can sometimes catch you off guard. And they were the mistake of what came from what was supposed to be a pig and stayed in the game. Thanks, Mojang. So um, now we get to deal with these. So a creeper has a unique property that makes it so they explode after a set time if they're close enough to the player. So we can abuse this property pretty easily, but uh, if you have tried to fight one off before, you probably nearly died or died because they are very powerful, especially in the difficulty, which is currently set to hard. And um, I did a little bit of testing, and I found out two really easy ways to defeat a creeper. So I'm going to show you one of those real quick. And this is probably the easier method of the two, but a creeper can't see me. A creeper, okay, there we go. A creeper has a specific radius where it will blow up if it's close enough to you, but it won't blow up if you're too far and it's already started to blow up. So we can abuse both these properties. So the first way to do it is just kind of let it blow up. So if you run at a creeper and then jump twice, it won't blow up because you're too far away. So if you run through a creeper and jump once, it'll be just far enough from the blast radius to not take any damage. And the creeper still blew up. So just to show you that wasn't a fluke, I'll do it again real quick. So run through the creeper, jump once, and it dies. Just to show that it works at diagonals too. Run through the creeper, jump once. Okay, maybe it doesn't work in diagonals. I never tested diagonals, but I can definitely try it. One more time. Run through, jump once. I guess I just did something wrong. Ignore that death. <laughs> but, um... So, basically, to sum it up, the creepers have a specific radius that you can ignite them from and still let them blow up. So the second way to do it, I'm not going to bother setting my health. Eh, well, this is how I did it the first time. Okay, so let's try that one more time. Yep, perfect. I just messed it up the first time. That's all right. We all make mistakes. So now the next method, oh, I've ruined my whole area here. But the next method is a little more challenging, but it's still doable. So this is abusing the fact that you can deal more knockback if you're sprinting. So on the floor, you can see there's no particles because I'm walking. But if I start sprinting, you see there's particles to indicate, I guess I'm going quicker. So you will have to hold down your sprint key, which I think by default is control, or you could double tap W if you're old school and didn't feel like key binding it. But you can hold W, hold control at the same time, and then when you hit something, like a chicken, it takes more knockback than say if you were to just hit it without sprinting. It also makes a separate sound. So you can use this on creepers as well. So if we were to put a creeper in, you can use something like a sword. You can sprint hit it and then back away. Deals enough knockback to where it's not close enough to you to explode, and you're able to hit it without dying. So to show you, there are more efficient ways that you could do this, like with an axe, deals more damage. So that way you only have to deal with three hits instead of, what was it, five? With the sword, because of the higher attack damage. And it doesn't matter about the wait time for the attack speed, because this attacks 1.6, and this attack speed is 0 0.8. So it doesn't really matter, because the 0 0.8 is finished and over with by the time the Creeper comes back anyway. So you can even do this with a wood axe, and it would still deal 7 damage, which is still far more than a stone sword. But just for poops and giggles here, um, you can do it with anything. You can do it with a stone pickaxe. You can do a little shovel. Heck, if you want to, you can just beat it with another creeper spawn egg. And it'll always work, no matter what. Beat it with some dirt. 
but those are the two easiest ways to defeat a creeper in Minecraft. Thanks for watching.